an update on what's going on with CERN. They are stating that for the first time, physicists at CERN have observed a benchmark atomic energy transition in anti-hydrogen. This is a major step toward cooling and manipulating the basic form of antimatter. Antimatter, annihilated on impact with matter, is notoriously tricky to capture and to work with, but its study is key to solving one of the greatest mysteries of the universe, and that is why antimatter, which should have existed in equal amounts to matter at the time of the Big Bang, has all but disappeared. Now, we've talked about the underground facilities. They have the Fermilabs here in the United States. They have other top secret underground facilities, smaller CERN facilities, and it's in my belief they have a larger CERN facility somewhere out there where the masses are completely oblivious to what's going on. You know, just like they have their, their black budget for the military, they have money that gets funneled into these scientific projects, especially when they are of the most important things to them. They are basically, from what I've seen, in just from their own admission and what's going on with CERN, they have admitted in so many words that they are trying to fold the fabric of space-time in on itself, bringing elements of 4D or the ether realm into this realm. Now, if you have any other entities or anything else that exist in that realm, you could therefore be trying to channel or bring that into this realm as well. That's where all the talk of this comes into play. And this is very real because they have admitted going down this path and there's been many instances where they were supposed to have big announcements and then all of a sudden it was nothing. And they say, oh, it was a blip in data or this or that. They have flat out admitted their goals of trying to fold the space time in on itself. That right there shows you they're working with folding dimensions into one another. This is where talk of potential wormholes and stargates and all that comes into play with the talk of CERN. They're doing a lot there. Now, the antimatter itself is a big mystery and we need to know more about it. Essentially, it is the opposite of normal matter. Now, while protons have a positive charge, their antimatter equivalents, antiprotons, have the same exact mass but a negative charge. Electrons and their corresponding antiparticle positrons have the same mass. The only difference is that they have different charges. Negative for electrons, positive for positrons. So, this on a larger scale is where they're taking these atoms, these particles, and trying to smash them into one another to get subatomic whatever. They're trying to break this down into sub, 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 as small as they can get it. They want to keep on slicing and dicing and trying to fold layers in on one another. Now, there's a difference in just trying to split some of these, these atoms in folding space-time in on itself. There's a whole lot more going on there than what meets the eye. But there's a whole lot more possible with CERN other than just doing one test. They can do so much. And so much more than what they tell the public. But in terms of this, they're saying this is a major step toward cooling and manipulating the basic form of antimatter. I wanted to cover it. It's just progression here in the field of them dealing with the antimatter. And of course, I believe they're a lot further than this. But this is just where they're at in terms of telling the masses what's going on. I'll leave a link. I'll continue to update as I come across more. This has been Dabu7 with the CERN update. Peace.